We are coming into Black Friday holiday shopping yep. season. What is it looking like this year? I think it's going to be a great year for consumers. I think that with all the macro headwinds, all of our clients we're talking to, they're getting ready, they're thinking about their strategies and how they can attract new customers with great offers, bundling, multi-year, and also keeping customers with some maybe some healthy discounts. And, <laughs> and you do a lot of your business through subscription models for companies. About 78%, so. yes. When you're looking from a consumer standpoint, yes. what advice do you have for consumers who are looking to save money in transactions online or through subscriptions? Yep. Well, look, I think um, there's a lot of opportunities for consumers, and I think you got to be smart about your commitment to a company, and if the subscription is the right one, we all see the Amazon actions that they take, they really want you to do it, and I think it can, it can be really healthy if you know that this is a product that you use on a regular basis, but otherwise I think you got to be smart about it because there is, there is that move towards it. Um, so I think it's just being intelligent and really being thoughtful about what you're buying. And are there any, like, what are the discounts worth paying attention to? Like yes. if I sign, they always want me to sign up for longer, but they yes. offer a good discount. Is that yes. something that I should yes. think about? I think there's a couple of tactics that consumers should think about. I think if you know that you want the product, the longer you commit, you know, comp companies are going to give you a healthier discount. These companies have worked hard to attract you as a customer. They want to keep you. Ha you have leverage. I'm a digital first person, but sometimes getting on the phone with the company and saying, hey, I'm thinking about leaving. What offers do you have if you're not able to do that online? I think also getting more for your subscription. Companies want to bundle. They want to encourage you to buy more. So if you're thinking about that, what else could you get? And could you get a better deal by buying more from that company and doing it? And when does it make sense to buy in person versus online? I mean, it's such an interesting question. Um, look, I, I, I'm on the board of the Container Store, so I'll talk about that. They want to create unique buying experiences online. And so understanding a company, their strategy, um, specials online only, right? Understanding the products that you want to buy. There is unique things that happen in the web, but you know there are things that only happen in the store. And I think it's the merging of that and all companies that omni-channel. You need to decide as a consumer, is it, do you know what you want? Can you get the best price? And the last step I'll say is use your credit cards. <laughs> credit cards offer some extraordinary um, opportunities to get offers for transactions that you were already going to make.